<laughs> I've been deceived. Yeah. Is DDD funky enough? Let's see. Game one. Three, two, Town and City. Go! Okay, okay. Town and City. What are they going to do here? I mean, this is a stage that Sonic's generally love. Because, you know, so much room to move around and get away. It's a convert and kill as well. Sonic Fiend's really good at doing that. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Just from that first interaction, I know where DDD was just trying to like shark him with those up tilts. It just, it just felt obnoxious for the DDD player. Oh, Ooh. back here. Wow. It's like I'm trying to chase this guy. But one, he's built up this lead. It's pretty good. Guerrero. Yeah. Really solid DDD right now. Yeah, this is. Wow, they're just catching all their options. Oh. Whoa. Oh, Sonic Fiend making those mistakes in the home attack on the shield. Mm. Something Sonic Fiend likes to go for a lot, those homing attacks. Yeah, but, I mean, 50% on the board, that's not the greatest, especially because, you know, DDD is <laughs> extremely heavy. Smarter than the way it out, but damn, all that shield. Still maintained all of that. That's such great nerves. Catches the roll, but does nothing. Sonic Fiend seems to be handling these one-hit situations where they, like, they condition, but they don't get the, the punish off the conditioning. Ooh. Oh, okay. okay interesting. There we go. Minecraft launch. Goes all the way. Sent them literally back to Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that multi hit forward tilt. Oh, dang. these back airs need to not hit Sonic right now. As uh, oh, they're building up a lot of damage from him. Yeah, they were doing so great there to bring that back, and now it's. Oh, that was a good. Okay. That was a good punish from Sonic Fiend. Yeah, he didn't get much for it, but it was smart of him to recognize that the section was going to be out forever. He's not going to blindly run into that. Yeah, especially because it was working on him for the most part. So finally adapting to that. Ooh. Through the Gordo. That's one thing DDDs have to be careful about is like how close they shoot that that Gordo out. It's not always going to work. Ooh. Even percentage. Sonic Fiend's bring this oh. all the way back. This is terrifying to go right into the belly of the beast and just challenge GDD at his own game. Especially as Sonic. These well-timed spin dashes are helping him get the damage up from these Gordos. That Gordo's throwing up with a forward air catch. Taking that next stock. Oh, Nair punished. Ooh. Getting a clean 25 off of that. That was... Every every extra credit is very helpful, especially against Whoa. Sonic. That's yeah, adapting to that very well. Saying you know, oh, <gasps> platform no! <laughs> oh my God! Stretching him out the the last one. Oh, he's trying to go for a spike there. Okay, I see you. I, I remember the first real fast. First time I think I saw that ever happen was uh, Leffen. Against oh, no. uh, what, ZD, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. I've seen it before, multiple times. Since Smash 4, even it's it's ridiculous how that always happens to people. <laughs> like that's the kind of thing that makes me think. Like, is this stage really supposed to be a starter? Really? Ooh. Gordo hits. Something has to watch their approaches here. Should I go for an empty? Empty hop button there. That's not gonna wow. work. Hmm. Trying to throw Gordo at these spin dashes, but they keep clashing with it and just losing. The back air! Yeah. Oh, and this is so scary. Getting the DD ledge trapping scenario. Oh! I just it's barely missed. to do the Gordo too. Oh man. <gasps> They're on the way down oh to punish God. the approach. Guerrero. Definitely yeah. has some hair on their chest there with that, that dub. Yeah. I mean, especially against a Sonic on town. Wow. Not afraid to swing on him. Yeah. I mean, that was a bold option just to go for that Nair. Just like, oh, you're coming up to up air me? Let me just hit you with that Nair first. <laughs> I actually have some really decent knockback for it to kill like that, too. Yeah. I didn't realize it could kill like that off the top. Oh, Sam, I've never seen that before. <laughs> really interesting. That's...
taking notes. Got you. It's good on Sonic for me to, to notice these uh, Gordos being thrown off full screen just to spin to them, but they they were just caught too many times there. They're getting caught on their jumps. And their missile approaches yeah. to homing attacks sometimes. Oh, trading some hits. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy right there. Oh my god. Going definitely, from that to a nair kill off the top. It's <laughs> definitely Devin posted this on Twitter type clip. Yeah, yeah I'm for on sure. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what Sonic can do about this in game two. It's Guerrero who's activating new funky mode. I'm taking them to FD as a counter pick. Nowhere to run. You know, nowhere to hide. One, one thing that Sonic Team might want to do this time is because they died, they lost the game because of their greed at the very end. Might want to, you know, tone it down a little bit. You know, play a little more safely, especially against a character like DVD who, if you don't play it safely, you can just explode in like a minute. Yeah. The fans have a spot of vulnerability into to DVD's game plan over here. As the Gordos are going to come out. Ooh. The matter of the matchup. I think that dash attack also high profiled. It definitely helped more than curse DDD. Whether it's farming the rage with the the knockbacks towards the uh, towards him or building up mad damage. Okay. Oh. That was <laughs> and the taunt. Let's go. <laughs> the Keeping his head in the game with those taunts. Oof. The extra damage off that no tech. Mm. I mean, Guerrero's got like great damage right now. 63. Oh. Guerrero. Oh, yeah, Guerrero. Yeah. I forget how to pronounce it, too. It's yeah. The last name I don't see often. Oh. Yeah. This is a really good lead for Guerrero. Oh. Let's set up. The grab. That, oh, we've seen Gero yeah. get so much great damage off of these Gordos, and oh, the hammer that hit. That was straight up killed. Yeah, it's like top ten moves online. <laughs> <laughs> and having multiple oh, jumps. Oh, oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> okay. I I definitely go for this stuff like if I was like up three stocks against Sonic. Like, uh, come on. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> You know, just You're to kidding. just to show you dominance, just like yeah, I went against a Sonic. Yeah, I went, I went for that. <laughs> so let's just get this over. With. Like this but, is the definition of definitely up in the, in the set right here. <laughs> yeah, and as this damage increases, it's gonna get harder and harder for Sonic Fiend to you know get this comeback even rolling. And that was. Ooh, that was actually really good usage of the Gordo to make it bounce so that it was really hard to time hitting it back as well. Ooh, these forward tilts are coming on the clutch for Gretto. The damage. Oh my god. Oh, covering so much on the ledge. <gasps> oh no, this is really this bad is... for Sonic Fiend. They're down by so oh. much. <gasps> okay. It gets hit. Yeah. Even soft it back, I had to take him out at 200. That's. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of something. You know, right that's there. among there among there with death and taxes. You know, it's just inevitable. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to formulate a game plan here. Is they have to work so hard just to take these next two stocks. Let's set up. Yeah, yeah. just Over to bring there. it to even is gonna be so much work. Let alone taking it. Oh, trades with the back air and Gretto takes it. Yeah. You gotta be so careful with that, and because Guerrero got such a huge lead, like we were seeing a lot better play from Sonic Fiend at the end there, but it was just too late. Yeah, definitely let it snowball there. After that second stock, Guerrero just kind of did whatever they wanted. <laughs> yeah, Sonic Fiend find it very hard to get a kill in certain situations. They couldn't get a clean back air. They couldn't get a throw. They was too busy watching off of this Gordo, and it was just causing them. That first stock was quite unfortunate. Thanks for the follow, Chad. What's well, already happened then? <laughs> Fantastic name. Yeah. What a Chad. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. Yeah, it was just the snowball happening. Just the usual smash stuff that happens when you're ever someone has a lead. 
And we almost saw three stock there, though. Like, yeah. The pressure, the pressure that yeah. <laughs> Guerrero was putting up at the end the there. The ledge. Yeah. The buttons off the trades. Like, DDD is a character I wouldn't want to trade with because he just doesn't care about, like, trading. He's heavy enough to survive, like, almost everything in the game. Yeah. He's the, he's the kind of guy to, to try and trade you a Caterpie for your Charizard. 